and eventually become a piece of flesh. The ziggurat, however, does not spend its developmental period in a void. It clings to the uterus just like roots that are firmly fixed to the earth by their tendrils. Through this bond, the ziggurat can attain the substances essential to its development from the mother's body. Here, at this point, a very significant miracle of the Qur'an is revealed. While referring to the ziggurat developing in the mother's womb, God uses the word alaq in the Qur'an. Recite, in the name of your Lord, who created man from alaq. Recite, and your Lord is the most generous. The meaning of the word alaq in Arabic is a thing that clings to some place. The word is literally used to describe leeches that cling to a body to suck blood. Certainly it is not a coincidence that such an appropriate word is used for the ziggurat developing in the mother's womb. This proves once again that the Qur'an is a revelation from God, the Lord of all the worlds. While it is told in the Qur'an that it is easy for God to bring man to life after death, the fingerprint of man is particularly emphasized. Yes, we are able to put together in perfect order the very tips of his fingers. The emphasis on fingerprints has a very special meaning this is because everyone's fingerprint is unique to himself. Every person who is alive or who has ever lived in this world has a set of unique fingerprints. That is why fingerprints are accepted as a very important identity card exclusive to its owner and used for this purpose around the world. But what is important is that this feature of the fingerprint was only discovered in the late 19th century. Before then, people regarded fingerprints as ordinary curves without any specific importance or meaning. However, in the Qur'an, God points to the fingertips which did not attract anyone's attention at that time and calls our attention to their importance, an importance that could only be understood in our age. Another important aspect of the information mentioned in the verses of the Qur'an is the developmental stages of a human in the mother's womb. It is stated in the verses that in the mother's womb first the bones develop and then the muscles form which wrap around these bones. We then formed the drop into a clot and formed the clot into a lump and formed the lump into bones and clothed the bones in flesh and then brought him into being as another creature. Blessed be God, the best of creators. Embryology is a branch of science that studies the development of embryos in the mother's womb. Until very recently, Embryologists assumed that the bones and muscles in an embryo developed at the same time. For this reason, 
For a long time, some people claimed that these verses were in conflict with science. Yet, advanced microscopic research conducted by virtue of new technological developments has revealed that the revelation of the Quran is word by word correct. These examinations at the microscopic level showed that the development inside the mother's womb takes place in just the way it is described in the verses. First, the cartilage tissue of the embryo ossifies. Then, muscular cells that are selected from among the tissue around the bones come together and wrap around these bones. This event is described in a scientific publication with the following words. During the seventh week, the skeleton begins to spread throughout the body and the bones take their familiar shapes. At the end of the seventh week and during the eighth week, the muscles take their positions around the bone forms. In short, man's developmental stages as they are described in the Quran are in perfect harmony with the findings of modern embryology. In the Quran, it is related that man is created in a three-stage process in the mother's womb. He creates you stage by stage in your mother's wombs in a threefold darkness. That is God, your Lord. Sovereignty is His. There is no God but Him. So what has made you deviate? As will be understood, it is pointed out in this verse that a human being is created in the mother's womb in three distinct stages. Indeed, modern biology has revealed that the baby's embryological development takes place in three distinct regions in the mother's womb. Today, in all of the embryological textbooks studied in the faculties of medicine, this subject is taken as an element of basic knowledge. For instance, in basic human embryology, a fundamental reference text in the field of embryology, this fact is stated as follows. The life in the uterus has three stages. Pre-embryonic, first two and a half weeks. Embryonic, until the end of the eighth week. And fetal, from the eighth week to labor. These phases refer to the different developmental stages of a baby. Information on the development in the mother's womb became available only after observations done with modern devices.